Welcome to season six of Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are in this world. You look absolutely awesome. I thought today we would do something, something different. Let me go ahead and give you just a quick little time lapse and a voiceover and explain how I got to this. And I'll see you in just a moment. All right, as you um, can see, I used the foam brush with gray gesso. So I took some white, added just a very little bit of black to make a gray gesso and I'm applying it right now and just making it nice and smooth. And what you can do to speed up the drying process is you can use a blowing dryer or blow dryer. It takes about five minutes. After that, I went ahead and put these little leaves in. I used a, a small foam brush as well with some white gesso. And so I'm putting in these little little leaves as you can see. And you don't, you know, you don't have to be perfect with this. It's you know, this is for me a little tough because my hands are shaky. So just do the best that you can. But you have to put that gray gesso on and then start applying the white leaves in the background. And I do different shapes. So I'm gonna do uh, large ones like this, and then you'll see some smaller ones. And I'm sorry for the background, but it's storming where I'm at, so. But here we go, I'm putting in the little ones right now. And then I'm going ahead right now and just putting in some stems. So basically I'm using a foam brush. I'm using a not very good liner brush that I can care less about. And I have a very small flat brush that I'm gonna be using in just a second as well. And so I put those in. I went ahead at this point and I sketched um, a, a candle scene. So that's what I'm putting in right here. And I'm just using the white gesso and I'm making the candle. And just applying it little by little, getting it just, just how I want it like that. And then, as you can see, just keep, keep working it, keep doing it. There we go. And I'm just putting like a little ledge for, for the candle to sit on. Now I'm gonna apply the black. So this is the um, nice little black little lantern for the candle. I'm using the flat brush for this. So you do the best that you can. It's very hard to get straight, straight lines painting. You know, you have to be, I guess, a professional for that one. But just do the best that you can, get your lines. And then that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do. So remember, I put the gray gesso I let it dry I went ahead and put those white little leaves with white gesso I let it dry then I went ahead and I sketched in the lantern and the and the candle and then I um, went ahead and started this process adding the gesso on there so it is a it is a step to get to this point so I'm telling you use the blow dryer it's the quickest thing that you can do it will get you right to this point where you need to be and then so I'm finishing up the the lines right there and this is the front front side so I'm Using that flat brush, see the flat brush, you can just go straight down. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good there. I mean, it's uh, definitely uh, useful. I would recommend getting one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and work that back angle, that back side there. And it's okay if it hits the candle flame, you know, if you get some black, we're gonna paint over it, so it's okay, all right? And just, like I said, just do the best that you can. But I would definitely recommend you sketch this in first. I think you can go online and find templates that you could use. Uh, you can actually use tracing paper. So you just, you know, put, put the template or whatever on the tracing paper and then you trace it out and then you can go ahead and paint it in. 
And so I'm just finishing it up right here. And that's it, just keep doing, doing your thing. Do the best you can. I'm going in right now with a horizon line. And then I'm gonna go ahead right here and just put it in a nice strong, strong tree right kind of in front of the lantern because I want to push that lantern back a little bit. Try to get a little bit of distance with this painting. Now you're going to have that, that lantern right smack in your face. So we want to just try to push it back a little bit and do the, you know, try to just get that comprehension right. And I'm leaving the, the branches open because we're going to go ahead and use a liner brush when we're doing the actual oil painting. So this is in a, going to be an oil on top of an acrylic painting. As you can tell, this entire painting right now so far is acrylic. But this is the hard stuff. Once you get past this, after this, it's a lot easier. So if you can, basically, if you can get this done right here, this is pretty much 75% of your painting. I mean, you'll be able to finish it out and it should be a nice strong one for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put some pine trees on the left side and have some background. And we're going to put some background trees in just a second here. And then that's it. So I'll see you in just a second. So that's basically how I got to this, this part right here. Remember that with your acrylic, you can use a blow dryer, but with your oil paint, which is what we're gonna go ahead and put on here, yeah, you can't do that, okay? You're gonna, you'll ruin the painting, okay? You gotta let the oil paint just, just dry on its own. Uh, you can use uh, fast drying mediums to help if you like to speed up the process, but with your acrylic, you can use that blow dryer with oils you can. Let me go ahead and run the colors right now. And let me just touch base real quick on what I went and did here. So all, all I did is I uh, went ahead and put clear medium on this canvas once it was completely dry. And you can use all types of clear mediums that are out on the market. And it's just basically an oil-based uh, clear type of medium, I guess you could say. It's an oil-based paint and you just put it on there and it allows your paint to slide without having to use too much paint. So, and with that, let's go ahead and grab our two inch brush. I'm gonna go right into some of, some of the pink stuff right here. Let's go into that crimson and we're gonna load it up. Okay, and you know, like I said, you can smash it, whatever you'd like. Just remember to believe in yourself and feel good if you're trying to do the painting. And if this is your first time viewing, I hope you like the platform and thank you. And let's go ahead and start right here. And we'll just go right here. And I'm doing, doing the crisscrosses, doing the crisscrosses. And remember, the, the crimson is a translucent, translucent color. So don't worry about going over the black. You can go right on over it, okay? You can go right on over it. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. And 
and just keep just keep working it. Just keep working it. There you go. So it's a little, a little bit different than normal. But I think you'll like this paint. It's a little, just a little bit different. And I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more, a little bit more of that crimson or the pink stuff. There we go. And I'm gonna go and touch into just a, a little bit of the blue. And I'll go right here. Just in the corners. Just in the corner. And you can just, just go like this a little bit and just get some of this. Just right there. Not too much, but right there. And we'll go ahead into the into the red again. right back over this. I just want to purple it out. I don't want it to be too, too blue. And the same thing right here. And the same thing down here as well. Okay, now I'm gonna use a, a one inch brush. And I think I'm gonna go and start into, a, and go into some of this Indian yellow. Gonna load up both sides. And I'm just gonna start right here. Okay, right here. And just work a little bit. Work a little bit out here. Get some of that. Get some out here. It gives a nice little orangey glow. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. I'm just working it right on, right on in there. something like that. Let's go ahead and put this down for just a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a, just a small, this is number three fan brush. And let's go ahead into some of the, uh, let's go into some of this cad yellow. Go up in here like so. Something like that. And I'm just getting some of it out here as well. Just a little bit, not too much, not too much. There you go, something like so. to just a little bit of this yellow ochre here. And we'll just 
throw a little bit into here as well. Not too much, just a little here, there. There we go, something like so. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this off real quick. And I'm gonna go into, so I got two, two whites here, so um, this is a softer white and this is a thicker one. So I'm gonna go with the thicker one. Just like so. Just like so. And a little bit right here. softly I'm just very softly blending it a little bit something like so and I'll grab some more of that yellow ochre here liner brush and go into just a little bit of the thinner stuff and I'm gonna come in and just put a little extra a little extra detail in here Something like so. Maybe there's some right here. Right there. There you go, something like that. And we go ahead, use a fan brush, and we go into the thicker stuff here. And I'm gonna come in and just this is how you make the appearance of glass. So we're gonna go ahead and put. some stuff in here just like that and do the same right here and the same right here as well Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use a blender brush. You can use a one inch or a two inch brush. And to do glass, you're gonna go, you go across and then down, okay? So very softly. Very softly. This is why you need thick, thick paint. And then down. All 
I'm gonna go ahead at this time and use a, a small, small flat brush. I'm gonna go right into my black here. I'm gonna go both sides and just clean this up right here. And just clean this up. So it's gonna paint right on over it. Remember, just do your best. I mean, it's tough to keep the line straight. So just, just do the best you can do. There we go. There we go, something like so. Load up. There we go. Just like that, okay? Remember, just do your best, feel confident. Just like that, just like that. I really think this is a beautiful painting, man. I really uh, just love the colors in this. Just love the colors. Just think it's beautiful. Okay, and then, same thing. I just want to get this one spot. Hopefully, I won't mess it up. There we go. And just a couple more, and we'll be done with the uh, with the candle here. Same thing, just keep getting that black a little at a time. And over here. There we go. to some of the softer, softer white. A little, little blue into there. Some more black. And I'm just gonna just put in a little Just a little gray or a little, like a blue gray, just a little tint into this. There you go. This gives it a little, just a little bit of a shadow into there. And let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get the snow going first. So I'm just gonna grab a, I think I'll just use my fan brush for right now. I'm gonna go into some of my thicker white. Some of my thicker white here. Right now, I just want to get right on over here. And right here. Yeah, maybe we'll give it 
There you go, something like so. Back into this, come over here. Just like that. More. Right now I'm just gonna get in the paint in there and then we'll, we'll go ahead and maybe smooth it out. We might just keep it a little bit rough. There we go. Something like that. We'll, we'll fix that when we put the tree in. And I'm going to go ahead and just, just want to use this two inch brush and just smooth this out a little bit better. There we go. Just a little bit smoother. Okay, we went ahead and put in a nice little scene so far. Let's go ahead and use our liner brush. I'm gonna dip it into actually some oil today, some thinning oil. I'm using linseed oil. I'm gonna go right into, right into black. And Want some actually little detail today on these uh, little pine trees, I guess. There we go, something like so. Go ahead, something like this. Maybe something like. Uh, maybe something like that. All right. Grab a little bit more of this oil. And I'll start over here. Something like that. There we go. Nice little definition on the top. Same thing there. And I'm just like kind of tapping into it. And we'll have it right here too.
There we go. And let's go ahead and There we go, something like that. And sorry for not talking too much. I am definitely tired at this point. It's pretty late at night. And I just wanna just grab that, go right into the black. And just come in here and just Darken some of that up. Just like that. And same thing here. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. Let's go ahead and grab grab her, her palette knife. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just grab a, let's grab our fan brush and start working on, on this. So I'm just going to grab, I think I'm just going to, I'll start with some black. We'll just start with some black. Okay. I'm just going to use the corner of the brush, just the corner of the brush. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. And we're just going to start tapping this in. Okay. And you're just going to keep getting some dabs or some dabs and you're going to come in here and just start tapping it in. Okay, and I'm just, I'm just tapping it in, just like that, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but it's already giving me a whole bunch of texture. And we'll go back and highlight a little, just a, just a little bit. But just a whole bunch of little dots. Just tap, 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 using just the corner, just the corner of your fan brush. Just the corner of your fan brush. And by applying the black, uh, when we apply the yellow, it should give you some shadows and all that good fun stuff. texture on there. Now I'm going to go right into, into this yellow and do the same thing. And if there's an issue, we can thin the yellow down a little bit. Okay. And then the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to want it a little bit more. Okay. And just just tapping on the right side. Just on the right side. And we'll do the same thing here. And just like that. And then we're just tapping it. Just tapping it. I'm gonna add just a little bit, just a little bit of this oil to here, because it is a little bit of a struggle. And just like that, same thing. Tap, 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 And that's all you're doing. Tap, 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 tap,
Oh, trying to get a trying to get a little chunk here, and same thing. And just keep tapping it, keep tapping it. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush real quick. Okay, I had to go ahead and clean that. I was just getting my, my yellow quite dirty already. So let's go ahead and keep doing our thing. So I'm gonna thin this out with just a little bit, little, little bit of some paint thinner. Remember, just, just, just the corner of the brush, okay? Remember, just, just the corner of the brush. There we go. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Grab a little bit more. Just like that. There you go. Tap, 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 tap. No rhyme or reason. I mean, just tap. I mean, you, you want to kind of keep your shape and stuff, but just, just tap. And then we'll have a little bit over here. down to shadow and I'm gonna just kind of crunch this open I just want my too much there let me uh let me wipe this off a little bit Couple little taps here or there. There we go. And some right here. I don't know if you can see it on your end, but it's it's very faint and it's there. Just enough to know, to let you know that there's some shrubbery right there. And I just want to get a little extra, a little extra something on here. So I'm just wiping my, uh, wiping my brush, going into a little bit of the white medium here. I got a little yellow on there, which is okay, but I'm going into the titanium. And then the same thing. And I just want it in a couple, just a couple of spots. Just a couple of spots. Yeah, same thing over here. And there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and just put something right there, or maybe we'll go ahead and just. I'll just grab this flat brush, the little flat brush, come into the white here. Maybe go into some of that soft white. And we'll just, maybe we'll just go like that and clean it up. There we go. 
There we go. Just like that. Nice and beautiful, huh? There we go. Awesome. Let me go ahead and swipe that clean real quick. And I think we'll go into, go into a liner brush. Let's grab some of that brown. There we go. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more of the medium. And there you go, something like so. Go into some of the black. here there we go clean that go into a little bit of the white and once again I apologize I'm not talking too much I am quite quite tired do not work at 5 a.m. and then staying up to do uh do paintings kind of it's a little rough sometimes. But let's go ahead and put a couple of little branches here or there, just like so. Oh, a little, a little too bright. We'll work with it. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish finish up this awesome looking tree that's right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this little little flat brush. All right. Let's go right into the black. Go into the brown. Something like so. There we go. Wherever you like. No rhyme or reason. Wherever you like. Let me put this down. I'll grab a liner brush. Let me go ahead into, into my black here. And let's see. Wherever you like. Wherever you like, it's perfect. No worries. Wherever you like. There we go. Something like so. And this wiggle, wiggles, all types of stuff. Branches go wherever they want. Here we go, something like so. Got it thin 
this out a little bit more. There you go. Tell you wherever you like. It's perfect. Wherever you like. There we go, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And what's cool is I got some paint thinner around here, so I'm having a reaction. So it's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty cool on, on my end. There we go. I think that's good. I think I'll just take this. Add a, add a little bit of blue into here. Give me a touch of that red. And sorry, I just want some shadow. Just wanted some shadow. I wasn't really liking it right there. So let's go ahead and go ahead and smooth that out. There we go. There we go. Okay, with that flat brush, I'm gonna go right back into this, just into this black here. There we go. tree into there. And I'm just going to wipe some of that excess paint off. I'm going to go into some of this white right here. Into that brown. There 
something like so. There we go. So you do your best. I mean, I have shaky hands and this is one of those times I struggle. my palette knife because I don't think I've used it the whole time. I'm just going to take the palette knife real quick and just come in and just using the black and just come in just give it a little extra texture here. back into the black. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just sign it. Remember to make sure your paint is thin. Ah, see, mine's a little too thick, so I'll have to go ahead and get thinned out a little bit. As long as that paint's thin, it'll slide right on over and you should be able to sign your name and not have too, too much of an issue. Well, this was a ton of fun painting this painting right here. It, this was uh, definitely a little bit of a time consumer, took several steps to get to, get to this finish, but I thought it came out absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And if you, uh, if you attempted this, I really hope you did a really good, good job. And thank you very much for, for painting with Mike. And until the next painting, I wanna wish you the best. Bye-bye.